Hello everyone, this is Bob Wynn. Welcome to week two task, importing course cartridges. I'm going to show you today how to download and import open courses into your Canvas account. All right, go ahead and open your browser to module week two task. Uh, here we're going to click on the top where there are some instructions if you need them. Uh, you can download these to your computer. Uh, they're slightly out of date, but it should work for our purposes uh, for the most part. And I will show you uh, any changes that actually occur on this. So the first thing that we're going to need is for you to sign up for your teacher's account. If you've done that already, great. Uh, you're going to need your institution's EDU email address. Uh, and I can show you also how to change uh, the email preference so that you can use your own personal account. So coming back to the module page, we'll, we see a list of links to the global online courses, the regional online courses, and MOOCs. Uh, the difference between the two uh, online course versus MOOCs is that online courses are eight weeks with eight modules, while the MOOCs are five weeks with five modules. All right, so we'll be using using educational technology as our demonstration for today. Uh, go ahead and click on that link, save this file to a folder that you can find in the future so you don't have to keep doing this over and over again. The file is quite large, um, so 100 megabytes. Um, and so I'm not going to be saving it because I've already saved it. The next thing you want to do once you saved it is that we're going to go over to the dashboard. So I'm going to open a new tab so I can come back to my module later. Uh, once you click on the tab, you'll see the published courses that you're teaching and taking. The bottom right, there will be a start a new course. Uh, and so here we can choose the name. I've already typed it out. You can include the semester or the time that this course is being offered. And for short name, I would recommend using something uh, that your students will be able to see and recognize. So maybe an acronym isn't the best choice. Here we're just going to use educational technology. You can put a number if you're teaching multiple sections. Uh, for content license, uh, all open courses use the CC attribution, Creative Commons. So go ahead and click that. And once you're done, create the course. All right, so once you name your course, you'll come to the home page where you will see this screen. Uh, slightly different from the PDF version, the right side will have the import existing content. That's how we're going to import our cartridge. For content type, choose Canvas Course Export Package. Choose the file that you've downloaded onto your computer. And go ahead and click on All Content. Uh, here you can adjust the events and the due dates. Uh, you don't have to do it right now. Uh, there's you can do this in the future uh, by going to settings and I will show you that in the next video. Uh, go ahead and click import. Uh, go ahead and get a cup of coffee. This process will take a long time. I've sped up the process but it could be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes depending on your internet connection. It'll do this running where it is importing all the things into your lovely canvas page. Once that's complete, if you click on settings, you'll come to this page where you will see all the information. Uh, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to edit and adapt your Canvas course. So see you next time.